Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are on The Sims and we are creating a sim for a series I'm going to do. I'm not sure exactly what the series is going to be about yet. I do have the idea though of basing it off of the legacy challenge but I want to mix something else in with it. So right now you can see I'm kind of working on the exact facial details uh, for my sim and what she's going to look like in the most basic ways. We can see I put in my first hairstyle and I'm looking through accessories to see if anything really stands out that I want to add before I go in and exactly design her outfit and everything. Now this took a bit of decision making doing the outfits because as you might find out I have not paid a lot of attention to the custom content I have or honestly even some of the non-custom content I have. So we're kind of just exploring, seeing what's there. I really liked the sweater so I kept that for a while. I messed around with the jeans, found a pair that I liked and it worked well before going in and uh, appreciating kind of the different socks I, before I came across the ones that I really liked. We can now see that I have found uh, the boots and we're going back to the face where I choose some glasses and then uh, the hair is bugging me so I go in and I start changing it. That looks the short hair looked almost exactly like me IRL, but we're going in and messing around. We ended up choosing this long, sort of messy bun hairstyle after I scrolled through all the options I had and chose them. I chose to do the little gap in the teeth because it looks so cute with some Sims, and I chose to give her some natural blush. So I got excited with that outfit, and we move on to formal. Now, this is when I started struggling a bit more with outfits until I came across one dress that I really liked and I've liked to use it before. Um, this one which has little suns, stars and moons on it which I thought is very fitting with my brand of being called Moon Online. We go in and mess with the hair again for the formal look. I actually really like this hairstyle, but it wasn't working for what we were doing, so I had to roll through some more and find one that did work. Um, I ran into some struggles with this before I settled on one of my favorites, which is a slim halfback braid. And I'm now seeing that I might have left her hair black, which should not have happened. Um, her hair is supposed to be brown. I will go fix that later off camera, but we go through and uh, we start deciding on hairstyles for athletic wear, where I finally come across this. And okay, so I do fix her hair back. I thought I did, but then it wasn't. Um, so then we see I start choosing tops, yet again di getting distracted by all the different ones. I was able to choose the pants pretty quickly and then it just became yet again this thing of looking through the tops trying to find one that I liked. I was trying to see if there were different style options before I settled on this Halloween one that says evil on it along with something that I can't really read. Um, you guys might have better eyesight than I do. Then we chose uh, her sleepwear and I ended up choosing an oversized sweater because if you have never slept in an oversized sweater, it is amazing. It is so comfortable. I kind of look at socks because I'm thinking if she's walking around in her sleepwear, it's better to wear socks. Then we yet again are going on to another outfit with her party choices. I start off with these jeans before saying, eh, maybe a skirt. But I do end up going back to pants before finally moving over and trying on some dresses. I end up sticking with 
a dress that I like and adding glasses back to her as well as changing her hair oh I thought I added glasses back to her did I miss a pair of glasses I know I went back and did some detailing so that might be what we're seeing here if I'm mixing up where some of the detailing is um, I started looking at possible sock options with this before I decided on what I was going to do with accessories. I loved this bathing suit and I wanted to keep it, but I didn't think it worked just right. So I started looking at some other options before I settled on this one right below it. And we yet again messed with the hair. I saw that one and thought that it looked great. I wanted her to wear a hat, so we went with a longer hairstyle because Sims sometimes likes to hide hair in hats, and I just didn't think that was her. I almost did that hat, but because of the hair peeking through in so many areas, I chose not to. I went with a simplistic beanie. And then we started looking through the different options for clothes, and this I actually took a while on deciding because I just could not choose exactly what I wanted to do with it. I believe I went through multiple options before I came across what I wanted to do. I even finalized the outfit with this before before going back and completely changing the entire outfit over again. And it became something where I didn't like half of these because they had cropped tops that didn't work well with uh, the cold weather before I finally went back and changed the pants for the however many times it's been. I tried to figure out if I wanted to change the boots again. Figured that I didn't want to, so we were on to starting the summer wear. Now her summer wear, I chose to be a bit more flowy and interesting, which we started seeing when I chose longer earrings. I did end up choosing some jean shorts for her, even though there were definitely moments throughout this where I changed that. And we chose a basic crop top, this floral one we see here. Ignore the multiple times I'm changing it, that's about... To to go back to the original uh, flowery top. Now I ended up sticking with this even though I'm looking through some options and I did debate doing a skirt before I looked at it and thought no jean shorts worked best for her. I then chose one of my first pairs of uh, shoes that I got custom content wise that I loved and I started doing some miniature details to have this whole sim come together. I started doing some small facial shaping and adding some few last minute accessories to the look to give it exactly what I wanted. We could see here I started debating earrings and started putting in those details that made the sim more come to life. I tried out different earrings before I finally settled on this pair. I went through multiple different earrings trying to find ones that I liked for each version and choosing one to skip. We added glasses here, double checking which type they were before we went on to add her name. We named her Forrest and then chose the random last name which ended up being Tinsley. I got a little distracted there. Um, but I ended up choosing animals and thought that she would be the kind of person that would dream about opening a veterinary place. And while she's family oriented, She's also a huge animal lover, and I plan to hopefully open up a vet clinic. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video where we created our sim for the upcoming series. I hope you all like Forrest, and I hope you all are excited to see how her story goes. If you liked this video or want to see where this series goes, or where any of my series go, 
click that like button, click that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications because I cannot wait to see you in my next video and I hope you all love it. See you then.